Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft 3. Last episode, we finished up the Blood Elf campaign, and now we're going into the last campaign, the Scourge campaign. Well, technically, it's not the last. There's still that the uh, bonus campaign with the uh, orcs and stuff, but uh, this is technically the the f final real campaign. And yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. Chapter 1, King Arthas. At the capital city of Lordaeron, near the ruined palace gardens, Arkhamun's pet dreadlords discuss their current plans for the Scourge. It's been months since we last heard from Lord Archimond. I grow tired of watching over these rotting undead. What are we still doing here? We were charged with overseeing this land, Deathrock. It is our duty to remain here and ensure that the Scourge is ready for action. True. Though we should have received some kind of orders by now. The Legion was defeated months ago. How could they not know? Impossible to say. But the longer they remain in command, the more they run the Scourge into the ground. What? Who could possibly... Greetings, Dreadlords. I should thank you for looking after my kingdom during my absence. However, I won't be requiring your services any longer. Prince Arthas, this land is ours. The Scourge belongs to the Legion. Not anymore, Demon. Your masters have been defeated. The Legion is undone. Your deaths will complete the circle. Never! This isn't over, human. We knew you would return to us, Prince Arthas. I have returned, Lich, but you will now address me as king. This is, after all, my land. Now we must secure the kingdom by scouring the last remnants of humanity from it. But my king, the humans have begun to abandon their villages. They are fleeing to the canyon passes. If they escape into the mountains, it will be impossible to hunt them all down. Then we must slaughter them before they escape. Their deaths will be a fitting tribute to their zoo. <laughs> Arthas just burst down the door. Knock, knock, bitches. Okay, what do we got? Uh, slaughter human refugees. Okay. Tread lightly. I shall be your eyes. Okay, we got a base. We got multiple bases. Oh, so are we just like all what right. needs revealing? I'll look into it. Okay, there's a found a mana all there. Shall be revealed. Let's see. My sight is yours. No we one cannot allow the humans to escape. Finally. Ah, at last. For the Lich King. Faithless <laughs> coward. I'll make sure you suffer. You will know anything. Oh, so if only like one gets through. This is more like they escape. Okay. My sight is yours. Okay, and I have like a shit ton of uh, resources. Uh, what do we got? We got A bombs. Let's make a couple of those. What is it now? Um. Speak, fool. Guess we got. Guess we can make some ghouls. Speak, fool. I shall be your eyes. I go unseen. No one orders me around. Frostborn hungers. Stop them before they reach the pass. What is it? I'm not doing this very well. Frostborn hungers. This is more than I Come on. Find This will probably also take me multiple attempts. Slaughter the humans before they escape. Yeah. 
What needs a feeling? I'll look into it. The dead shall soar. I shall be your eyes. Uh, um, my sight is yours. My talents are yours. Okay, everybody, except for you, group three. I shall be your eyes. All shall be revealed. Oh, okay, wait. quest, slaughter human refugees. Is that a child? Undiscovered quest. Um. Okay, so I have to break the towns, but I can't let them through. What needs revealing? Stop them before they reach the pass. We cannot allow the humans to escape. Our brethren need assistance. My sight is yours. Um, we got. Okay, so only yeah, I'm I'm doing badly already. Okay, I'm just gonna look around. Okay, so that's like one village there. Look into it. I go unseen. Oh yeah, just go there. I'm probably gonna restart. Shall be revealed. Let's see. I'll look into it. Uh, they got a militia commander. My sight is. We cannot allow the humans to escape. See you call. Our forces are under attack. Uh. What needs revealing? Okay, so as soon as they start, I, I should just uh, destroy the mini villages. Is there anything in there? Yeah, I know they're all gonna escape. I kind of want to see what happens when they uh, es all escape. So I'm just gonna let them. I'll look into it. While I scout. Let's see. Our forces are under attack. Need assistance. Slay the paladins. Try three. I go unseen. All shall be revealed. Okay, so there's paladins. I shall be your eyes. Um. Oh, I see. Okay. Our Let's forces see. are under attack. Okay, Arthas, you go do that. Stop them before they reach the pass. Need assistance. Oh, I, oh, I think he just teleported the in. Are nearing the pass. Stop them. Eyes. Yeah, I know. Our brethren need assistance. Okay, quite a bit of All shall be people in here. Our forces are under Our attack. hero has been killed. Yeah, rip him. Um. An allied hero has been killed. Our brethren need assistance. So it looks like I can make ghouls and. Only like, yeah. Okay. What needs revealing? I go unseen. I'll Our look into it. need assistance. I go unseen. And Sylvana, she's got drain life. Silence. My sight is yours. Our brethren need assistance. Mm, what it. other things can she do? Charm. Okay. What needs revealing? All shall be revealed. Let's see. Well, they escaped. Our I'll brethren look into need it. assistance. And Sylvanas was the only survivor. King Arthas, the humans have made it through the pass. Now there's no way to stop them from reaching sanctuary. Then we failed, Lich. Return to the capital. Someone will pay dearly for this. Probably Sylvanas. Okay, let's let's start again. I have a better idea on what to do now. Okay, so first thing we should do is just like 
build a bunch of units. Um, no one you, you, group around. one. Let's go. Uh, at last, this is more like it. Uh, immediately just go fight these Fine. guys. You guys, except for you, you and you, group two. Or the lich You wear your father's crown as if you earned it. You may kill me, but my brethren will never stop hounding you. I can't believe any of you survived the first purge. No matter. After today, your self-righteous order will oh. cease to exist. How did you get through? Ah, uh, at Hi. last. This is Finally, the shadows beckon. Now, Frost. Okay, I think I do. I should build up. Slaughter the humans before they escape. Okay, wait. I, th I think I get it. So they're fine there, and then uh. What, what can I kill of you guys? I have no time for games. Can I possess people? Oh, I can't. Okay, so I can possess people of Sylvanas' troops. Okay, I get it. I get it. Let's restart. Restarting again. Okay, you. Group one. Come uh, over there. My sight is yours. Then you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um. Sylvanas. No one orders me. Uh, Show me a target. No, you can be the group three. Even the scales. Of course. Okay. Got away from mana a little bit. You called. You can be a group two. Let's be group these. Speak, fool. Frostmorn hunger. The humans are nearing the pass. Stop them. Finally. This is more like. What Arthas, there's now? some crates over there to attack those. Frostmorn hunger. This is more like it. Killing, sure. At last. Okay, Sylvanas. Let's go. Yes. Go possess these guys, please. No one wants to my The moment is upon us. We're gonna get the rifleman. Speak. Our forces are under attack. Tread lightly. Our brethren need assistance. What is it? Speak. What are you? Slaughter the humans before they escape. Um What do you need? I'm here. Oh, what the heck is going on? Come traitor and taste the wrath of the holy light. Okay, some <laughs> Okay, I, I think I didn't see what happened, but I, I think I know what happened. I think uh the paladin must have teleported in and then like teleported out and the mobs went and chased him. Um, okay, so that was pretty hectic. Okay, welcome to the voiceover section. Here we are starting from a safe state, only about a minute or two in the mission. I didn't want to constantly have to keep remake groups uh, whenever I had to restart from like losing. Um, so anyways, my strategy that I eventually figured out was, uh, I, well, I had to, I figured out that each, um, group, so Arthas, Sylvanas, uh, Kel'Thuzad, they each have their own kind of gimmicks to them. 
So with Sylvanas' group, she's got her banshee, so you can actually just like steal units. And here, I, I'm just updating my uh, save state because uh, I, I don't wanna. I got tired of doing that like every single time. Um, now this uh, recording that we'll be watching, it is cut down a lot. I think it took me over three hours to complete this mission. Like in total. Um, right, there, there we go. Reloading because I messed that up. But um, I'm gonna be cutting out a lot just because it was like I think like the video, the recording itself was like four hours, and I cut it down to about approximately 50 minutes. So first thing I'm doing is I'm just uh, taking control of these uh, units, the uh, mortar teams. I think I might have messed that up. But uh, usually once you take. Usually once you take the third mortar, the pally start porting in, and you, you can usually just grab them all and then just get out. But, um, okay, so as for the other two groups, uh, KT and Arthas, so, the, like, you have to control, like, three different groups, and it's really hard to, like, manage all of them at the same time. So usually what you do is you kind of set them up so that they can defend the passes with uh, minimal attention, and then you uh, work with one of them to uh, progress at a time. Um, so, what am I doing? All right, I'm making another safe date. Yeah, so I've already, like, edited down the footage, and now I'm doing the voiceover over the edited footage. Um... I probably made like a mistake and reload it there, but uh, yeah. So KT, you'll, you'll notice like I'll select a KT's group and then like hit raise undead and then like not even like look at them and just go back to what I'm doing. Um, so I, I'm just killing those archers because uh, I, I I want the mortar team to uh attack those uh, buildings. And you'll, you'll see the paladins. So the paladins are like a huge problem. They make life so much more difficult because they, they'll teleport in once you start attacking the towns. And uh, yeah, they're just really annoying to see there they are. So now I'm fleeing because I don't want to lose the mortars. Now, I, I know in advance that this attempt isn't successful. So like I'm going to eventually reload the file. But um... And yeah, the, so there's the uh, caravan of people. I, I found the best way to deal with the caravan is um, leaving like a couple like ghouls by the by the exits, and then um, and they would like pick off any of the civilian ones that got through. Because I found that like even if you attack the group with uh, your own units and leave them just to kind of kill them on their own. Your uh, units will always target the uh, civilian or the uh, human refugees or whatever they're called that can attack you back. Um, and they'll ignore the civilian ones. So it, it, a couple times, um, like they'll, they just get like right past because my units will be busy fighting other things. And then they'd escape. Um, yeah, so here comes the pallies. I'm trying to... Yeah, Savannah so has a silence ability, which is very useful. It stops the pallies from bubbling. Um... Yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to destroy the village. And I think some units just got by me there. Like I said, I think this attempt is just showing... I'm showing like a failed attempt right now. Because I think I wound up losing too many units. Or something. Or I think what happened, uh, I can't remember if it was this attempt, but uh, I think the pally like cast mass resurrection. And I'm like, okay, screw this. It's gonna reset. Um, so, yeah, Savannah ended up being the MVP in this battle um, and this mission. The other two were a bit useless, especially Arthas. Uh, he'll, uh, see later on what I mean by that. Yeah, I decided to just reload because uh, I had lost too many units. Okay. Okay, and you have to like constantly make new units. You have like unlimited resources, so each uh, group has like way more gold than you'll ever need and like lumber. You are limited to 30 food though, um, which Sylvanas can get past this by uh, making banshees and 
grabbing high, uh, high food no units. So here I, I go, like, so instead of attacking the other little base, I decided to go for this one first. Um, and here comes the pallies. Then once the pallies come out, I just, like, run back. Because what happens is the pallies will port in, and then if you leave, they'll, like, de-aggro, and then they'll run back to their, uh, central area. And, uh... And once they're back there, then you attack again, but like their teleport is on cooldown, so then you can, uh, then you have a bit of time before they, uh, come and attack you. And just buying some healing and healing scrolls and healing potions. So I have to, I do have to make sure that they are attacking. So you'll, you'll see, like, my main units are focusing on the, uh, like, militia men the ones that can attack back, which means the uh, civilians tend to slip by them. And that's where having some ghouls in the back uh, helps a lot. So now I'm going in for the attack again. Um, destroying the tower. And I'm going to lose some ghouls here. I, I don't actually mind losing the ghouls because I need more food space to create more banshees. Um, to get, you know, the good units. The restless dead awaits. Um, no one. and yeah, so Arthas... You know, Ar Arthas and his A-bomb army just holding it here. You, you really have to pay attention to Arthas occasionally. He's like a toddler, like, if you, leave him, if you leave him alone for, like, five minutes without supervision, he'll just, like, go stick Frostmourne in an electrical socket and die. Um... He, uh, yeah, my my thoughts on Arthas has not have not gotten better during this mission. I'll just say that he, he is a little little bit of a dummy. He tends to die a lot. You'll, you'll see this like way later on. He'll die like I think he died like a dozen times or something. Cause he cause like since he's a melee unit, he'll like rush like once the enemy gets close to him, he'll like run to them. But uh, this just means he'll just run. Uh, He'll get closer and closer to the, uh, to the village, and then he'll get separated from his A-bombs, and... And then, and then he eventually gets... Unless you, like, readjust his position every once in a while, he'll eventually, like, just, like, run into the little village and die. Oh, yeah, this. So, so the pally's just standing there, but we attacked it, so he, like, teleports just, like, 30 feet or something. It's like, what? Why? Why not just run in? Anyways, um. So yeah, now we're just trying to clear out the village. Now, the to clear out the village, you just got to kill those little farm buildings. So yeah, there's Arthas. So you got pulled forward a bunch. Um, you got to like watch that. Um, cause I, I don't want Arthas to actually go into the other little village, cause that that'll summon pallies to him. I don't want pallies to be summoned to him. There's a few times where like. I'd fight, like, a group. Oh yeah, and there's some... I'm like, oh no, the units were the... They're getting away, but eventually I, I just let... There's a couple times where I just let them through. Because, like, I, I gotta focus on destroying the building. And you, you can afford to have a few go through. But like, I, I don't want these ones. So I can... If I can stop them, I will. Um... Yeah. Yeah, Arthas. So I'm pulling Arthas back. It's like I said, he keeps moving forward too much. Um, so yeah, you'll notice sometimes, maybe I've already mentioned this, but like I'll just select Kel'Thuzad's group and then hit Raisin Dead and just not even check up on them. Because um, you do have to... So to manage like all three groups, which is really difficult, like managing... Uh, three groups at once so you, you have to kind of like set them up so that uh two of them are kind of like basically on autopilot or maybe not autopilot but like need minimal attention i go possessing some uh healers to heal up my uh mortar team and knights and uh, I, of course, I could be just like repeating things because uh, I, I this is like my third attempt at recording too because I kept getting interrupted. But um, and I, I'm not like reading from a script. I'm just like watching the video and narrating over it. Uh, occasionally, I do have to readjust the uh, uh, KT's group though. 
Um, because he, he will, like, they do end up, like, moving over time if you're not paying attention. Um, yeah. So those, those are big horse units with the aura. They, they're, uh, really high quality units. I, I'm gonna end up, like, possessing a bunch of them later on. They, they have chain heal, it's very overpowered. And they, uh, they all, I think they also do chaos damage, which is, all, which is also very good. Um, so yeah, I, I gotta like keep the A bones rolling. And yeah, there's like a fountain mana there, so I send the banshees in uh, to get their mana up, so I can possess units. What ails you? Our forces are under attack. Um, yeah, so as you can see, uh, the little farmhouses are where the, uh, the human the caravans or wh whatever they're called, that's where they pop out from. There I notice some. I'm like, shoot them, kill them. And now it's just, no, they got out. Okay. Um, so that's like five units. Another human has made it through the path. They reached the pass. I, I like to think that Sylvanas uh, is all like, oh no, the humans got through. Whoops. Like, probably half assing her job. Um, so, yeah, those are where the ghouls come in handy. Now, I think some just got past Sylvanas' group. I, I can't remember if they get through or not. Um, of course. Show me what must I do? Of course, uh, oh yeah, so yeah, there we go, possessing the uh, militia commanders, I believe they're called. I just grab them and bring them back to Savannah's group. Um, yeah, like I said, these are very good units. Uh, very overpowered. Okay, those ones earlier didn't escape because I had the mortar team there. Um, and, and yeah, I'm trying to cripple the uh, militia commanders on KT's side. Oh, there I go, skipping ahead. Oh yeah, so this is, as you can see, like, I'm just building up my commander forces. I, I think at this point I'm, like, done with collecting commanders. I think I only collect, like, four of them. And there I go. I, I, this is cutting. I'm doing a lot of cutting. But, uh, there I go, attacking the village. The second one, um, the pally is there. He teleported it in. I'm trying to keep him silent so he doesn't bubble. And uh, yeah, chain heal, very overpowered. Just spamming chain heal. It's very good. Yeah, I really should be targeting. So I'm using. Oh yeah, so there, there's popped out another group. Yeah, you really gotta like kill all the buildings or else uh, another caravan will pop in into existence. So yeah, KT's group. Yeah, there's the second village done. I uh, don't want to lose commanders. I'm trying to keep them healed up. There's just a donkey there. You can see it uh, slowly making its way through the group. Because, like I said, the uh, NPCs, they, they'll uh, prioritize the um, units that can attack. So I, I don't think... I don't know if I noticed. I think I... Yeah, I noticed... Okay, so I noticed them that time. There's other times that they'll get past me and I won't even notice. Um, mortar team, pretty decent at uh, clearing them out. So yeah, Arthas and KT are basically on defense mode right now. Oh yeah, okay, so one did make it through. I didn't even notice that one. You can see me checking like, wait, what? Okay. So I've healed up my units. Now we're kind of moving over to the next village. There's a, uh, um, a named elf NPC to the uh, left there, but I, I'm just ignoring her for now. So I'm trying to, yeah, getting, like, progressing this mission was, like, super slow as I try to figure out strategies. Because you, you have to, like, stop the people from reaching the portal while also 
assaulting their bases and there's like multiple routes that they can take so you, you have to like keep an eye on them and uh there, there are certain choke points though so it's basically like trying to control the choke points and then uh pushing to the next choke point while not letting any through um so i think i noticed some going around the other way so i have the mortar team there um yeah i got <laughs> Yeah, KT just constantly, oh, I can't allow the humans to escape. So you just hear that so much, this mission. It's honestly kind of tiring after a while. Um, so Sylvanas is a bit, you know, I, I should really be attacking now, but I want more mana on Sylvanas so I can, like, cast silence. There, I, I kind of notice, oh, the group's going that way this time, so I'm sending my group that way. Um, sending the shade into spy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm cutting out so much footage. Like, there's just so many- it, it's just constant waves. Like, oh, I just finished with a wave. Time to regroup or move forward and oh look, there's another wave. There's Arthur's nearly dead. Arthur's is just constantly nearly dead in this. Yeah, well, I guess he is undead. I'll check it out. Check it out. Man, it's such a satisfying sound. So yeah, here comes the next wave. Um, but fighting him near- like, you want to fight him like right outside the base and then just immediately move into the base afterwards. I think I- yeah, I, I did notice some of them escape, so I'm sending the mortar team to go pick them off. Um, turning on Black Arrow for Savannah's. Black Arrow summons like skeletons when they kill people. Our brethren need need assistance. Assistance. Oh, we'll it Our Show me a target. Stop them before they reach the pass. I'm here. Our there I'm assistance. trying to kill the uh, units inside the town, which are actually kinda tough to kill. The uh, little huts that they, that the uh, patrols or caravans pop out of, they're pretty easy to destroy. But uh, oh yeah, so I, there I just cut. I think I retreated for some reason, and now I'm like, okay, let's let's go destroy this. So there's the pallies for one of the pallies uh, popping in. There's three pallies in total, and there's like one for each uh, um, side, because there's, there's like three different sides to the map. Each uh, person has a corner, and then the all three sections of the map are uh, linked together via the pally place. So I'm like retreating because I, I think so, I think a group got through, and I, I want to stop them. Uh, I think I, yeah, so I stopped them. Now I'm going back. We're gonna, we're gonna finish off this town. Um. There's another group, but I, I'm just focusing on the uh, on the uh, village right now. Okay, so that's three out of nine. Uh, now I'm sending everybody back to the start to uh, stop the last caravan. And from now on, now that all three villages are dead, there's going to be no more uh no caravans on the uh the nearing the pass. Stop them. there's gonna be no more caravans in sylvanas' side so now sylvanas can like afk for a while and then uh and then i can just work on the uh kt side so here i am advancing on kt's side um currently the uh, caravans are coming out of this section so th there's like i think the caravans come out of like one village at a time so you're not gonna have like three com each coming out from a different village it's a uh, they pop out one village at a time and then you once you destroy that village they come out of another village and then each each uh, village origin has like different routes they take but currently the uh, choke point is right here they, they all come from up uh, the base uh, west of uh, KT's base and then they come down and then they'd either take the north path or the south path um so I'm just sending everybody in and my strategy to destroy these villages is 
to send in a whole bunch of skeletons and then and then send in KT and uh yeah I, I set that to autocast I'm trying to send them so you, yeah so you see a dude just got by there and I'm like oh I'm gonna go I gotta go kill him but I, ha I have ghouls at the exit so I'm gonna end up ignoring them um Things aren't going well. This might actually be a failed attempt. I, I think I after, I did save after uh, I did make another save state at some point. Or maybe I did, I can't remember. Anyways, or maybe this is going fine. I can't quite remember. It all, it's all a blur in my head because I spent so long on this mission. So I'm sending KT in. He can just death and decay those while my necromancers finish off all the enemy units. Oh, there's the Pally. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, that's annoying. The Pallies will just like resurrect all the units. Um, but like, I'm, I'm focusing on trying to uh, destroy the villages and then uh, after all the village all the buildings are dead, I'm like, okay, everybody back, everybody back, retreat. And I'm trying to... I, I know I need to, uh... Uh... Re redo my forces, because I just got... Mo most of my units are dead right now, and, like, I'm worried about another wave. So I'm like, okay, everybody retreat back to the base. We're gonna buy some potions, gonna buy some things. Wait, and then there we go, cutting. So I, I've rebuilt my forces by now. You don't actually need like a whole lot of forces to defend the pass in KT, because as soon as you uh, kill a couple units, you can summon skeletons and those are really useful. So I'm sending in the skellies here. And uh, unfortunately for my skellies, I got a mortar team. They got just one mortar guy who just like decimates them. I, I should have uh, killed that guy first, but um, have KT uh, casting death and decay on the village um, and, and rebuilding all my units as fast as possible because I know they're going to get destroyed. I, I just I just got to kill the buildings and get out. Oh, you see behind me there's that uh, those uh, the the horse chain heal dude, the militia commander, and then like some three other units. Those are I'm pretty sure those are the units that got resurrected by the. Uh, Paladin because their AI is a bit wonky because um, they're supposed to be it, it's actually confused me for a while like why they were there because like usually it's only the uh, like those guys are usually in the caravans but like th these ones they kept just like sitting back at that first village base and I was like why are they there why are they sitting there and I, I think it's looking back on this footage now it's like oh they're the uh they're the units that the paladin resurrected, and uh, and then I, I guess that broke their AI because they, they didn't try to make it out. They just went and hung back where they were resurrected. Um, so yeah, there's lots of cuts, as you can tell. I think this is my second go at the village because even even though the that village is like destroyed, I have to. I have to destroy like all the buildings because otherwise if I'm, if I'm just passing it or I have like because right here is like another choke point right um right across the river where that fork is there's another choke point which is the new choke point but if I just park units there they'll attack the remaining buildings and then as you can see if you attack the buildings it summons the paladins yeah you don't want the pallies to be summoned um pallies are bad news <sighs> yeah, my voice. <laughs> I'm trying to talk for 50 minutes or something. How however long I cut this down, like I said, it's like four hours of footage I've cut down to like 50 minutes ish. Um. Yeah, this is quite the mission. <laughs> I was exhausted by the end of it. Um, I, I say four hours of footage. I was just like the day I beat it because I, I think I tried it like for two or three hours like a couple days earlier which was the first part of the video that you saw and then like I, I had to sleep on it for two days um well I had a work night and uh 
Sounds logical. Our forces are under attack. And yeah, and <laughs> yeah, the missions are definitely getting harder. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I, I'm hoping. I, okay, I know like the very last mission in this campaign is going to be like Stop them before they quite the doozy. The but uh. Oh yeah, so here's me defending the uh, pass with uh, not a whole lot of units. I basically just gotta make sure to kill one or two units and then I can start summoning skeletons and, and then everything will be fine. Anyways, yeah, I hope the uh, most of the in-between missions between now and the last mission aren't quite so long. Yep. I think I'm just showing my process here. I can't I can't exactly remember why I didn't cut this. I think I'm just showing like yeah, even with only like a couple uh units you can still defend the pass. And, oh yeah, also showing my ghouls. So with the pass your kind of backup defense, you, you don't you want them to be like kinda of way in the back. We're not like super way in the back, but like not close enough to your other group. Oh there I am saving. Oh yeah, do you, do you like my uh, saving name scheme? I I, I don't know <laughs> what's with it. I, th I think I I think I called it like three way die, two way die because I'm I'm killing a lot of people, but also I'm just dying myself a whole lot. Um. Oh yeah, there's me destroying the base. I think uh, I think I reset. Like I think I made the save file and then I and yeah, I'm just showing myself reloading. So I'm just showing that, like, yes, I'm using the save states because uh, things are definitely getting harder. And like I said, I spent so long in this that I was like, no, I'm not doing this without save states. We've gone to the point where save states are a must. I am not good enough not to use save states, unfortunately. Um, Yeah, so I, I think here I'm showing the process of me trying to yeah, move forward. So for some reason, you, like, you'd think, oh, the groups would either come across the water or around the loop, and that would, you know, throw you off, and you have to, like, check to make sure where they're going. But no, like, currently they're only going around the big loop. Like, they're not going across the river. So uh, you can just kind of progress down the big loop and not have to worry about them coming across the river. Um, because they don't, like, usually they will have multiple ways they can go and you have to keep track of which way they're going or else you'll, like, yeah. miss them and they'll escape. The um, oh yeah, so there's a found a man at the iron guard by a bunch of kobolds. So I, I try to, like, aggro the kobolds into the group to see if they'll, like, kill each other, but I don't think it works. I think the kobolds just go back to sleep. Yeah. That didn't work. Oh well. So yeah, I ended up just having to kill him the old fashioned way. Yeah, so usually I just summon skeletons and run back a bit. Um, Arthur is still fighting for his life. The A bombs. Um, Sylvanus taking a break on vacation, relaxing. It's taking you guys so long, she says. I'm the only competent one of the three. Um, yeah, so what, I, I'm just showing I have like units back there to defend against the stragglers. I think I, at this point I'm starting to let the uh, uh, regular people through. Oh, there I go. I'm starting to kill the kobolds. I'm letting the like the little guys through that don't attack, cause like my ghouls that I have at the exit can handle them. Um. Our forces are under attack. Okay, so now I have access to the mana. Oh, there, there they go. I see. I'm kind of. There they go uh, crossing the uh, river. See, they weren't doing that before, so I'm kind of wondering if they can detect that you're there, and uh, and go the other way. I, w I wasn't really sure how the AI worked. Um, it seemed to me that, uh, at, like, at first I thought, oh, do they pick it randomly? But I think it's actually, like, 
they can detect where you are, like they see where you are, and then go the other way. Um. Right, yeah, there's that group again. Like I said, I think they're they're the resurrected group that hang out by the uh, first village. And here comes the uh, pally. Oh, and yeah, and Arthas died. Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. Arthas dies a lot. Can't can't take your eyes off him for like five minutes, but I'm killing himself. Um, KT's about to go down too. Um, okay, bring the A bombs back. Oh, there's KT back. See, I'm defending. I think I retreated. I, I think I, uh, I think I only have one building left to destroy. Um, in that second KT village. Uh, the chain heals are very annoying when uh, they're not on your side, and there's like two of them there, because they just constantly heal each other. Um, okay, so I think I cleared him out. I'm, I'm going back on the offensive, kind of. Actually, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, I'm sending the skellies to finish off the last building, because the skellies can do it on their own. As you can see, the pallies are about to, or one of the pallies is about to pour it in, but I don't really, I don't really care. I'm just trying to destroy the building. Then once the building's destroyed, I don't have to worry about the pallies being summoned in. At least to right there. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm working my way back up to the choke point. Like I said, you just gotta kinda intercept the group and then continue and try to make it to the choke point before the Stop next them, pack before arrives. The pass. Oh my gosh, shut up, KT. Stop them before they reach the pass times 100. As the and I'm very- I'd be very interested to see what like a speed run does at this place. So I'm like, okay, I gotta intercept them. I, I gotta at, at least intercept the units that uh, will aggro. So there I- I let one through, but I'm thinking like, my ghouls you know, whatever units I have back at the base will be enough to, uh, stop it. I'm like, oh no, okay. I'm like, stop. I need you guys to come attack me. Um, I gotta, like, lure them back. So yeah, there's my ghouls playing defense. Um, Is there something our brethren need assistance. Yeah. Yeah, I try to keep the uh, big dudes crippled. Now look, here comes another wave. See, it's just, it's just never ending. I'm cutting out so much. It's just so much of just me fighting these waves over and over and over again. Making slow progress. Um, Arthur seems to be dying again. He, he tends to get like ahead of his A bombs and then tries to like solo the groups and then he dies. He, he's not very smart. Arthas is not a smart man, let it be said. I, I, <laughs> I know he's like everybody's favorite character and I think a part of that is because you know you play him in this game and he, he, you know, you tend to get attached to people you play as, and meanwhile, my experience is just Arthas being a dumbass, just dying over and over again. Like I. Okay. So as you can see, I'm making progress. I'm, I'm up by the second. It's like a health fountain there. Um. So I've killed that group, and now I'm like. Okay, let's summon a bunch of skellies. And I'm gonna send them in to attack whatever's by the fountain, which is like a bunch of water elementals, I believe. 
Oh, and yeah, and look, there's another group, another wave. I just finished with the wave, and there's another one. It is quite tricky um, being limited to 30 food units. Um. <sighs> yep, just constant waves over and over again, having to reset Arthas's position because he'll move too far forward and go into the village and call the pallies, and that's never any good. Um. Also, when you're this far away from the base, uh, kind of restoring your units. It's a bit of a challenge. I, I think at this point in time, my plan is to uh, clear out all three villages and then like meet in the middle and kill the pallies like with all three groups. But I, I end up doing something different. Uh, you, you'll see. So yeah, as you can see, so see the group, like if I hadn't had that uh, wraith there, the group would just slip right by me. <laughs> They they can tell like wh where you are and then and then go a different direction. So like, yeah, I, here's me making another save. I think I'm about to try something and I, yeah, I'm trying to I'm about to like attack the base, and uh, I I don't think it'll end well, which is why I made the save state. You so I send the skellies that way, and I send the necromancers this way, and oh look, there's the next wave. And the pally. Oh yeah, now they got mage towers, so it's... Now I'm like, okay, this is a bit of a problem, because there's... They're like anti-magic towers, and all I have is like magic units, so... I'm, I'm kind of like retreating now, like, okay, this isn't gonna work. The I'm sure a better they... player than I can handle it, but uh, Stop them before they reach I am, the pass. I am, I cannot, I cannot handle it. Yes, right away. Indeed. In the Lich King's name. Ah, a shadow monster. Our brethren shadow. need assistance. Mm, that sounds logical. Yeah. I'm not killing my units. You're killing my units. I think I, at this point, I think I uh, go back to my save file at this point. Um, oh, maybe not yet. What does the shadow will? You call. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, I'm retreating back to the home base. The shadows beckon. I shall be your and there we go, scouting with the uh, wraith, because I'm like, okay, what, what's in here? Like, what, what am I having to deal with? I go unseen. And it, it does not look fun. Let's see. It does not look like something that I can handle. So I think at this point, I'm like, I'm okay, sorry. Sylvanas. Is there something uh, okay, there I go, reloading. At, at this point, I'm like, okay, that my first plan where I clear out all three areas My with each group and then uh, go attack the Pally's last is not going to work. Let's try a different plan, Indeed. which is uh, let's get Sylvanas with her big buff units to go to, uh, we're, we're going to kill the Pally's and then have Sylvanas help uh, everybody else. So yeah, I'm just and this is actually a really bad spot to defend. It's not a very good checkpoint, and I think like the group split up a bit. Um, and also, it just takes too long to uh, get more units, so I'm uh, stop them before they reach the pass. Bring Sylvanas and my mortars. There's the ghouls doing work. Um, I'm losing units. Uh, oh man. Narrating this uh adventure <laughs> is exhausting. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, that's right. I end up retreating. Oh yeah, there goes Earth is dying again. Um so I'm re I'm retreating to that choke point because it's a bit closer to my base. Um Yep. 
It's a bit easier to control. Show me a target. Hello. So if Sylvanas, what am I doing with Sylvanas? Right, I'm using it's hunter pull strats and I'm trying to push the attack. I'm trying to like pull these units out because I can't just rush in. They got too many I've no time for units in there. Too many oh, yeah, they they don't want to run I out, so this takes me a few tries. Um Summon more Zuguras. Yeah, I definitely heard that a lot. Um, okay, right. Oh yeah, I think at this point I'm like, okay, what if we like cleared a village out of Arthas? That way I don't have to worry about him like accidentally running to the village because I'm thinking like I, I'm gonna need full attention on Sylvanas, so I, I have to like not have to worry about Arthas's group or KT's group. Um, now KT's group is good, you just select group, press raise dead, and then go back to whatever you were doing. But uh, I'm worried about Arthas because he tends to uh, die a lot. So uh, yeah, so I'm like okay you know what let's go destroy this village so I don't have to worry about uh, running into it. So I'm just like running in. Killing, killing the buildings. Your pain shall be Our need um, I think in Arthas's guard, like I think I had two A bombs guarding the exit, and I think that's like overkill. I think you can just use ghouls, just like two ghouls. Wait, oh, yeah, here's it giving me the secondary main quest: destroy the paladins. Arthas, you wear your father's crown as if you earned it. You may kill me, but my brethren will never stop hounding you. I can't believe any of you survived the first purge. No matter. After today, your self-righteous order will cease to exist. Okay, so there's six, seven, nine. No and then right about here, something happens. The pain is unbearable. What is happening to me? Danger draws near. Power is fading. Time is running out. King Arthas, do you need assistance? No. The pain is past. But my powers are diminished. Something is terribly wrong here. Shall we recall our forces? No. I will finish the hunt. We'll solve this mystery once our business is done. Oh our man. When I first saw it, I was hoping so hard that Arthas would be like, yeah, we should uh, leave. And then like the mission would be over, but no, we gotta finish it. Um... Yeah. Oh my god, fighting the comments are so long. Also, um, after that cutscene, uh, Arthas loses a level. So he started at level 10, now he's down to level 9. And, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna cause him to die a whole lot more, let's just say that. I mean, partially it's cause, uh, the next few waves are going to be uh, a bit harder. So he takes more damage, but uh, the lower level also does not help. I'm not really sure which ability. He, he would have like lost a level on an ability, but I, I never thought about checking that. There's some units getting through. Like, like I said, I think like ghouls would have been better. Uh, of course, the pally bubbles. I don't have Sylvanas to silence. Oh, Arthas, why are you so useless? See, he's level 9 now, not level 10. Trying to kill the pally. Trying to kill the units. So yeah, KT's group is like starting to fall apart, and uh, and Arthas' group is sort of falling apart. I think they can hold though. I think they'll kill the Pally. 
Um, yeah, I'm kind of realizing like getting new uh, necromancers. It's a bit of a pain in the ass of where this group is. And there's units getting through the A-bombs. It's not looking totally good right now. I, I can- I know I can recover from this, but uh... I'm here. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, so now I'm back to Sylvanas. And uh, I, I'm trying to pull him out. Yeah, so the uh, maid- unlike me, the uh, uh, AI actually knows how to uh, use mages, which means only units get polymorphed. Mm -hmm. gotta, gotta keep the uh, dudes healed. Chain heal spam. Okay, Arthas is back. Ready to die again. And yeah, it's just- oh my gosh, it's so much to keep track of. I think some of my units of Savannah's are dead. Oh, I lost a horseman there. Not good. Managed to kill the Pelly though. Push the attack! I think the uh so the stationary yellow units like the human forces once you kill them I think they're dead um the pally horses come back but I don't think anything else does so I'm just trying to kill the, I just killed the pally so I'm like really trying to kill that altar so he doesn't come back um so I'm like okay I, I, I thought it was destroyed. It actually wasn't. I, I do um, I do go back later to break it though. So I'm retreating. So I don't want I don't want to lose my mortar team just yet. Right there, there I send Sylvanas in. I'm like, oh it's. Well, I'm trying to pull him out. I think, and then I notice oh the altar's still up. Why have I been suffering? Cannot allow the humans to Oh, not quite yet. I, eventually I send Sylvanas in and just like literally shoot one arrow at it and it explodes. Okay, so I still- <laughs> I stole a knight and Arthas died again. As is tradition. Um, Kilthasid's forces are kinda- falling apart right now. I think at this point I'm like, okay, we're gonna retreat. I can't- I can't hold back the waves. Yeah, so I'm moving everybody back to base. Where it's much easier to hold the groups back. I'm trying to get the A-bombs on the blades to heal a little bit. Stop them before they reach the pass. Yeah, yeah, KT. I want to stop them before they reach the pass. Blah, blah, blah. I think I, I think uh I think it's really funny the uh oh yeah so they blew it up the text uh, that um oh yeah and I guess the pally did manage to revive before I could destroy it but um the text when you failed the mission it's like Nerzul's dis displeased of you I always found that kind of funny so. Trying to pull the unit out. As you can see, Arthas' forces move forward a bit. There's just this priest there just healing him. I think I'm like, okay, mortar team, let's go blow up the priest. And I'm like, okay, I found a good place where I can fight the pally and not have the rest of the magro, so I send in the forces. And I silence him so he doesn't bubble. Victory draws near. 
Our brethren need assistance. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that, that's one pally down because his altar's gone. No one. And he's gone. Ah, at last. Yeah. So Arthur's couldn't say bombs. Where do you want us? This battle is over. Our brethren need We're assistance. Mobile. Uh, sending in the mortar team to try and aggro them. You made the right choice. It's our forces are under Come attack. On, on our way. Show me a target. You call to me. Trying to, uh, I'm trying to possess them, but one of my banshees got sheep. Silencing the mage and the priest so he doesn't heal. That's probably more. I know it's like, oh, they're sheeps. So I make a bit of a mistake here. I'm like, okay, everybody's like a sheep, and I don't want to lose all those units. So I'm like, okay, let's retreat. But I, I forget to uh, retreat the mortar team, so like three of them die. Oh, there goes Arthas, putting the death in Death Knight. Oh yeah, just fighting the pally. Oh yeah, so now I can get- now that like most of my units are dead I can make a bunch of banshees. Which means I can steal more units, and that's always fun. Show me a target. Let's get to fighting. I'm here. I'll check it out. Hello. Our forces are under attack. Catch. We'll do it in a I'm trying to, uh, because I have one banshee here. I'm like, okay, let's possess one of them. I must obey. Slaughter the humans before they escape. Stole your mob. Okay. My talents are yours. Right, I'm checking on KT's forces. Who got a? I haven't. I haven't been paying attention to them for a while, so they got a bit uh, destroyed. So summoning a bunch of necromancers and a bunch more ghouls. Ghouls are like my emergency no units. Like, oh, I can't make a bunch of necromancers in time, so I gotta. I gotta like make some ghouls just to have something there. Our brethren need assistance. Tread lightly. Ah, uh, at last. Yep. Doing damage control with KT. Okay, now I'm going in for the attack. Let's get to fighting. You made the right choice. Pulling them. Make him do distractions and then sending in the uh, banshees. I think I, I mess up the. Yeah, I'm just like fumbling my buttons there. Come on, possess it. At this point, I'm like, I don't really want to fight the units. Let's just uh, let's steal the units. Oh, and there goes Arthas dying again. <laughs> he died so many times. He's like, why is he the champion of the Lich King again? He, I don't think he's very good at his job. Oh yeah, the Pally resurrected. So I'm like, okay, let's let's go kill the Pally again. Silencing the pallet so you can't shield. Our 
brethren need assistance. Now I'm like, Where do you want us? okay, let's 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 go in. Everybody in. Okay, maybe not everybody in. Pull them all out and then. Show them no mercy. And then after this guy's dead, I think it's everybody in. Oh yeah, I think- uh, yeah, that's right, my mortar guy died and I'm like, okay, now I actually have to go everybody in. Everybody in! All in? All in? Silencing the, uh, mages as much as I can. Uh, Arthur is alive again. At last. For now. Really trying to break that uh, altar. So once the altar is gone, then uh, the pallies can't resurrect. Or that last one can't anyways. Uh, whatever his name is. Mr. Orange. Um, well, there goes Sylvanas. Sylvanas has finally died. She did her job though. And also she's level 4. What's your excuse, Arthas? More bank cheese. What ails you? Okay, so now I'm just finishing clearing out the uh, base. Got more units, I got more banshees. Of course, some of them get immediately sheeped. <clears throat> and all the rest of the units get possessed. More for me. I didn't look at the. I didn't look at them closely, but I think the. Sheep or like, might be floating. It's kind of hard to tell. Our forces are under attack. Our brethren need assistance. I'm here. Keeping them nice and silenced. Guess not. Um, he just died. Okay, so that's all the pallies did. So that's finally done. So now I can get Sylvanas to go help the other groups. Allow the humans to and uh... I think I, yeah, I ended up going to help Kelsid first because, you know, in my head, uh, Sylvanas hates Arthas, so she's gonna help him last. Um, I mean, she probably hates Kelsid too, but I think she hates Arthas more. It's a foreshado foreshadowing to Shadowlands where KT and Sylvanas join forces by which I mean the they never they're never shown in the same room together so I have to imagine that the jailer just uh, kept them separate so they didn't kill each other but uh yeah so there's I'm sending in the banshee to possess more of these uh militia commanders because those are very handy units the other the other militia big dudes uh what are they called militia captains uh they're also very powerful but I like the uh I ended up liking the chain hill dudes. Too way to die, Pally's dead. Our brethren need assistance. I do not think about my naming convention for save files very hard. So yeah, here's me uh, assaulting the base. Well, first I'm drawing them out to destroy the units, and then I'm gonna rush in. Um, Kelpazid is busy defending his little plot of land. While Savannah does all the work. You know, I, I wasn't going into this campaign, I wasn't really sure which, uh, who I wanted to put on the uh, thumbnail. Because I had already drawn Arthas for the original Undead. Um, like Arthas Moonkin Arthur. <laughs> Moonkin Arthas for the original. But I, I think uh, I'm gonna end up going with Sylvanas because she was the MVP of this mission. Moonkin Sylvanas. Um, She's the one putting the work in, despite only being level 4. Well, her and her banshees. So yeah, just cutting to where I actually uh, finished destroying the base. 
Okay, there's seven out of nine. Oh yeah, and I'm also destroying that building finally. It's been uh, annoying me. I don't think those buildings even do anything. Like it, it's mainly the, it's it's like the little farmhouses that are actually the unit producing buildings. And, and now I'm just like taking Sylvanas and KD's forces and just farming the uh, name mobs. So uh, the mage here. Um, and then there's also that elf on the uh, west of Sylvanas' base. Oh yeah, and this yeti too. Killing the yeti. No real reason other than it exists and I want it dead. Oh yeah, I guess it drops a ring of protection one. That's also handy. Alright, there we go. Killing the uh, person. I'm silencing her because she does no starfall. In an earlier attempt I tried to attack her and she like destroyed all my units. Um... I was like, yeah, I'll just silence her and kill her. And yeah, then th this, these groups. So this is, so each uh, section of the map has their own like yellow hero unit. And this is Arthas's section. He has a mound king dude, a bunch of dwarves. So yeah, now, now we're joining up with Arthas's forces finally after who knows how long. Um. Yep. The cavalry has arrived. Speak, fools. Frostborn hungers. Frostborn seems useless. And I think we're, uh. I don't think Arthas is gonna die from here on out. He's, he, his babysitters have arrived. To look after him. Oh, yeah, there we go. Possessing the militia captains. The militia captains are also pretty good units. I think they like buff everybody around them. Healing, healing, healing. Yep. Destroying the village. Oh, there's the caravan popping out. They just pop out of existence. Little donkey on his way. In case you're wondering, uh, they, they say don't let the humans escape, but the uh, donkeys count as humans. You can't can't let them escape either. Yep, it, it's very satisfying. Finally, just having all three groups destroying bases together. Um, yeah, so. I'm making my way back all the way up I'm making a save file this is just <laughs> this is in case like a group gets past me and like I lose based on people escaping and, I, and now I'm just doing some shopping I don't even know if I get to like keep all these items but I thought you know I have unlimited resources I might as well just like buy some items I can't even remember what I bought boost of speed invulnerability potion scrolls J just some like random stuff. I don't even know how to like use them properly. I just thought, you know, might as well. Um, also I only shop in Sylvanas because she's the only one who deserves it. And yeah, here's me assaulting the final base. And from here on out is going to be uncut. Because, you know, I need that catharsis. I use one of the scrolls. I just I just need to watch all my units come together and just delete a base, you know? All that hard work, all that pain, all that suffering. All those ways I had to just constantly kill over and over again. Just non-stop. I, <laughs> I am curious what this mission is like now on like normal difficulty and not hard. Um whether the waves are like more spread out or if they're just easier to kill or what. I don't know. I don't feel like finding out. Um, and I'm, I'm making sure to kill like every single building before the last one. Because uh, I, I just need that satisfaction. And yeah, that's it. That's, that's the mission. Oh boy. That was, uh, tricky. A 
At last, the Alliance is finished. Once we round up the last stragglers, we should be... Ugh, not again. It is I, the Lich King. Danger draws near the Frozen Throne. You must return to Northrend immediately. Okay. My king, you are not well. Take me back to the capital. I have a long journey ahead of me. Yep, and that's the mission. Okay. Oh boy, I hope the <laughs> killed 817 Jews. Um yeah, hoping the next mission isn't nearly as harrowing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.